In this video, we'll factor the equation x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. So we have these rules here to help us do that. Essentially, what we're trying to do is figure out what values for x that we could put in so that this side of the equation would be 0. So the first thing we do is we set up this skeleton here. So x times x, that gives us this x squared here. Since both of these terms here, they're positive. Since both are positive, that means that inside our parentheses, we're just going to have positives like this here. Next, we're going to find the factors for the last term, 18, that add up to the middle term. So if we look at 18 here, we could have 1 times 18. That would give us 18. 2 times 9, or 3 times 6. So we look at these factors, the one that adds up to 9, 3 and 6. So we can put that in here, 3 and 6. So we factor this equation. We should check our work with the FOIL method. Let's do that. So we multiply the first term, x times x is x squared, outside x times 6, that's 6x, plus the inside term, 3 times x is 3x, and the last term, 3 times 6, that gives us 18. So this here is 9x, so it's the same thing as we had before. So we know that this right here is correct. We have one last thing we need to do, though. We said initially we want to know what values for x would make this side of the equation 0. So if x was minus 3, minus 3 and plus 3, that gives us 0. So 0 times 3 is 0. So x equals a minus 3. That's one of the solutions. Likewise, if x was minus 6, this would be 0. And here we'd have minus 3. So 0 times minus 3, that gives us the 0. So x equals minus 6, that's the other one. If you put these numbers in for x, minus 3 and minus 3, and you multiplied everything out, it would equal 0. Likewise, if you put minus 6 in for x, multiplied everything out, you would get 0 as well. If you use the quadratic equation, you'd get the same answer. So this is just one way to do it. This is Dr. V factoring the equation x squared plus 9x plus 18 equals 0. Thanks for watching.